Now, have you been following this Young Dolph case? Not particularly, no. I know they, nah, not really. Yeah, man, because like the internet kind of like solved it before everybody else, right? <laughs> yeah. Specifically, when he says the internet, he <laughs> means him. He got millions and millions of views of of sort Yo, of pondering who may have been involved. Honestly, in this. though, right? I listen. I I, I kind of caught it. So right. So um, you know, like we found found like a music. So pretty much like what broke the case open was they found a car, you know, like the, a getaway vehicle at a particular house. Right, I saw that. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, we went through, like, the music videos, you know, that was, like, thrown there, you know, and we pretty much said, yo, it was straight drops, et cetera, et cetera. Now, he got arrested, and, and one other dude that we also named, he got arrested as well. But it, now, like, what's your take on the Internet solving crimes before it happened? Like, is that the place of YouTubers? Like, should YouTubers really be out here trying to solve crimes for the police? Nah. Nah, man, stay away. Yo, I do this shit. I have interjected myself into these stories. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make a value judgment. I report on publicly recorded <laughs> events and happenings in the courtroom as they play out. The internet speculation with the YouTube videos, with the fucking voiceovers, and this guy knows this guy, and I see him holding this gun. I don't know what y'all are doing. But do you think that it's a realistic proposal that the cops would be tuned in to what the youtube commentators or the people who are trying to solve crimes are talking about and that they're actually picking up leads from that or do you think that it's usually the case where the cops who are on the ground and have access to all kinds of technology and all kinds of shit that the youtubers don't have probably know more than the youtubers most of the time no the cops are using the youtubers they are <laughs> mm. You're not supposed to be proud of that. Well, no. So I will say this, though, because cause they was offering, like, what, like, a 200000 for anybody with, like, information. Again, I was one of the first. I will, you know, I will gladly claim that, that I was the first one to name Straight Drop as a suspect. Now, I'm kind of like, damn, bro, like, if they use something, you know, like, you know, like my shit, you know, they should not have rights to the 200000 They was... Claiming as a reward to any information? Yeah, you should hire a lawyer and make a claim. Absolutely. Uh, hey, man. But you know? it doesn't <laughs> yeah. putting it out there publicly kind of like <laughs> void the likelihood of you getting that reward? Most likely. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like if you had made those videos and put them on a hard drive and walked on over to the police yeah. station and said, here you go, I don't know. Again, you know, because I know Cliff's going to be, obviously I was joking. I don't, plan, I don't plan on ever working with the police to receive a, you know, uh, a reward. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Just Quite your YouTube yeah. riches, so that's enough for you? Yeah, man, you know, that's enough, man. <laughs> no, here's the thing with the, the YouTube investigations and shit. It, 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 it then has real-world impacts. You know, the idea that you are going to comment on something and, and say something that is an opinion, that is a hypothesis, and that commentary is going to have a real world impact we should all sit and think about that we should and we should assess how much we want to be responsible for impacting the lives of others in such an indiscriminate way mm. i think that's important definitely but also i mean at the end of the day we're all young Dolph fans right i mean well no at the end of the day we're all agreed that in society if you put shit out there it can and will be used against you right so from that perspective the youtube shit is, is on it's up <laughs> it's up it's up right it, it, you have the right to remain silent you mm. don't have the right to be not heard right if you want to go out there and you want to talk i'm fuck what i think <laughs> the world is going to do its thing right Right. And there is this concept in the world that you don't owe anybody anything. You're your own person. Go do your thing. That's what we value in America. That's what liberty is. You think people who commit violent crimes in America in 2022 are out of their fucking minds, given how much uh, yeah. surveillance and everything else there is? And I, I, I but, but I actually have to sit and think, man, what's going on in his life? Because nobody else is caring. <laughs> you know, the, our politicians will never be compassionate to criminal justice. Criminal defense lawyers can only do what they are paid for, right? And then there's this small band of criminal justice advocates who, for whatever reason, have found themselves you know, on that part of the fence. And I'm on that part of the fence because I've been able to find a way that it meshes with my life. And 
And yeah, man, I mean, I think that is a, just a completely ignored part of the conversation. That voice just does not get amplified ever. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.